Hello, my name is Gene Kim, and I am your MC here at the 2021 DevOps Enterprise Summit US Virtual. So this is our fourth virtual conference made necessary by the continuing global pandemic. But I am so happy that you're here because we've created an amazing program for you that you will get to experience over the next three days. So along with the program committee, we strive to make each event our best event yet. And I genuinely believe that this will be our best ever. I believe this because I have been editing all the talks, watching them over and over, and I am so excited to share with you what we have put together. I think it's something super special and will be an amazing break from all the endless video conference calls that we've all been stuck on for the last year and a half. So this morning, I will go over what our goals are, both at the highest level in terms of our programming objectives, and also how we've continued to evolve this online format uh, based on lessons that we've learned over the last three virtual events. And so each year, starting all the way back in 2014, I start by asking the question, why are we here? And each year, it looks pretty much the same. We believe that DevOps is important. We believe that DevOps creates genuine business value. We believe that DevOps makes our work humane, and we believe that DevOps unleashes everyone's creativity and problem-solving potential. In short, as John Smart says, it, we create better value, sooner, safer, and happier. So over the last eight years, we have done 14 events, and I'm so proud that we have created what I believe is the best conference for technology leaders to help them succeed and their organizations win in the marketplace. And so uh, whether we are meeting physically or virtually, uh, the mission goes on. Uh, maybe this mission is even more important. Uh, we are in the worst economic crisis that we've seen in a century. We are in the worst healthcare crisis that we've seen in a century. And so what is this mission that I'm talking about? From the very beginning in 2014, DevOps Enterprise was created as a conference for horses by horses. In other words, no unicorns allowed. Unicorns being the tech giants, the fangs, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google, and Microsoft. Instead, DevOps Enterprise was intended to be a conference for horses by horses. Horses as defined by large complex organizations that have been around for decades or even centuries. And I am so delighted that over the last eight years, over 500 enterprises have presented, spanning almost every industry vertical, banking, insurance, retail, sportswear, manufacturing, defense, entertainment, media, healthcare, and government services. And so over the years, you may have observed that a couple things have changed. One is the people presenting are more senior. So this might be because that the people presenting have been promoted and we are following along in their journey. But also we're attracting more and more senior executives because our work matters to them. We've encouraged uh, over the years presenters to co-present with their colleagues from audit, security, and compliance. We've encouraged them to co-present with their business counterparts, and we don't want their counterparts who are just tolerant of them. We want those business leaders who say that all their dreams, goals, and aspirations have come true because of the amazing work done by their technology leader counterparts. So over the years, we've heard from CIOs, CTOs, CFOs, chief product officers, line of business leaders, uh, and CEOs. And so someone asked me two years ago, what are my specific goals around the programming? And increasingly, it is this. It is to have videos from the CEOs of Fortune 50 organizations routinely being presented as part of these DevOps Enterprise presentations uh, by, say, 2025. And what delights me to no end is that this is starting to happen now. By the end of this conference, we'll have had six organizations who have done this. Two years ago, RBS, later Nationwide Building Society, American Airlines, Fannie Mae, CSG, and we will have one more tomorrow. So you may be thinking, why? Why is that so important and what does it have to do with me? And it is because for the last eight years, we've been collecting the top obstacles verbalized by this community. And typically it has always been, how do I get my business leadership on board? And so I want you to be able to share these testimonials from CEOs with your business leadership.
because these stories are being told by people they listen to. And these stories are all about describing how work that you are doing matters. That the capabilities that you are creating in your organizations are what is needed to help your organization survive in the marketplace and better yet, win in the marketplace. So that describes some of the mission behind this conference. So let's talk a little bit about the structure of the conference, how it uh, differs from a physical event and how we've evolved uh, the virtual format and why. So from the very beginning, this has been a conference that's primarily made up of experience reports. And the reason for this is that as adult learners, as leaders, we learn less from when someone tells us what they are thinking about doing, or worse yet, what they think we should be doing, uh, or giving us dry classroom lectures. Instead, we learn best by hearing how other people solve similar business problems. And so almost all of the presentations that you will hear here at DevOps Enterprise follows the experience report format, which looks something like this. Uh, here's the organization that uh, I'm in, and here's the industry that we compete in. Here is my role and where I fit in the organization. Here's the business problem that we set out to solve. Here's where we started and why. Here's what we did, including tools and techniques. Here's the outcome that resulted. And here's the problems that still remain. And what I love about this is that so closely matches uh, the scientific method where you state a hypothesis, you perform an experiment, you confirm or disprove that hypothesis, and then you repeat. In other words, we get to see whether the uh, actions taken in that experience report uh, are promising enough to do ourselves. And so in this conference, here's a sampling of the amazing experience reports that we have for you. Uh, from retailing, we have Target, we have Capital One, Discover Financial, Nationwide Insurance, uh, Vanguard, Comp